it's a novel experience for me. <clears throat> but when you're outside all the time and you have no nothing to encumber you, you're constantly just connected in touch with everything the questions you ask almost get immediately res like responses not like immediately like instantly but you know within a day or something like I remember people I remember one fella Harrison great guy from uh, Georgia yeah nobody had done a night hike and I had already done my night hike like my first night hike during my hundred mile wilderness it was also my first 16 mile day and uh, I'll make a separate video about that because that's that was something else that was a trip in itself um, so I was like alright Harrison you know we'll do I'll do a night hike with you because he didn't want to you know go solo it so we we had we left out from a uh, it was in Maine, and we were we were heading to uh, towards a uh, an area of the trail that uh, passed near Andover, and uh, we left out at like five, you know, just got a late start so that we would be hiking in the dark, and uh, but talking about synchronicity, if we hadn't left when we left, hadn't just hiked the way we hiked, with no real plan, like we had a, a you know a loose goal of a place to be but it was you know it got dark and it got really cold or something we're stopped somewhere no big deal you're in the woods what's keeping you from stopping somewhere that old the old saying that says a good traveler has no set plans and is never intent on arriving one to remember so we happen upon the full moon by the way we happen upon a beautiful night a uh a road more or less near Andover I can't remember exactly because it was in the dark but uh, right before you get like to it was in more or less near Andover and uh, we're taking a break on this road it's like come off the side of a hill and there's just a little like mountain road and then like sheer side of the hill on the other side that went down to a river stream and uh we're taking a break it was fairly chilly because it was probably like midnight one in the morning you know high moon uh we were exposed we've been in the woods it's not cold when you're hiking in the woods and you you know you're working up a sweat but uh when you're when you're just sitting on some guardrails on the side of a you know state road get pretty chilly we had been there about 10 minutes, 15 or so, just taking a break, deciding what we wanted to do, like, we were just going to hike down into the, the ravine and just stealth camp, you know, off trail for the night. And uh, about that time, you know, we hadn't seen any vehicles. A car comes around the bend, like, oh, crap, you know, what could this be? Not too concerned with it, but just strange to see a car and the dude started slowing down so we're like oh well it's either someone you know on the talk or someone or a cop or something who knows but all the choices we made that day led us to that moment to meet that dude that was driving his truck looking around in the dark trying to find the Appalachian Trail because he had decided I'm gonna leave some trail magic I've never done this before. I'm going to leave some trail magic for people, but i got to find the trail. Trail magic is where regular people leave cash boxes, little, uh, little, like, gift packages, like, of food, granola bars, trail bars, Gatorade, you know, sometimes beer, uh, and, and this dude had a pickup truck with these, like, two coolers in the back, like, big coolers, and a bunch of, like, Walmart sacks or something like grocery bags full of like food and Powerade and Gatorade and things like that and he pulls up to us and he's like hey you know you guys you guys through hikers like yeah yeah we're, we're, we're hiking through and uh he's like you know we get to talking to him we talk to him for about 45 minutes an hour you know he tells us why he's there and he's been looking for 
he's been driving around trying to find a, you know, scouting out a place for, for putting some trail magic, but it was really dark, you know, he wasn't having a lot of luck, and he came across us, and, uh, you know, just shooting the breeze, telling each other stories, uh, got, got like two Gatorades and a, a few, you know, like a couple cliff bars out of it, two or three, he's just like, well, you know, it's one o'clock at night, one thirty at night, you guys, I got food in the back of my truck, why don't y'all help yourselves, like, thanks, dude, that's awesome, uh, something, something, all those moments that led to that event, that meeting, everything, everything happens for a reason, nothing happens by accident, even the choices we make, even if they're unconscious, you know, everything, everything ties together, it was really cool, didn't even want to leave the dude, he wanted to keep talking, but dude, it was getting cold, it was getting cold. 12 minutes and 20 seconds. I'm going to have to cut another one up. Windows Movie Maker. I'm not a fan of Windows Movie Maker. I'll take it easy. I'll have more stories about the AT later.